guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Welcome back for part four of the FF35 project. Uh, basically, I finished off the aileron modification that I wanted to do. So let's take a closer look at that modification. Then after that, we'll get out to the field and test it out. Okay, guys, I got the modification all finished for the ailerons that are connected basically to the elevons also. So the ailerons are actually going to work in a elevon fashion. So here we go. As you can see, they work in unison. But that should give me a lot more um, roll authority. So it should uh, roll a lot faster. And actually even it should help in the pitch. And the ailerons are elevons on the wings basically is what they are. They're behind the center of gravity so they should be fine working as elevons. So we'll get out to the park and test it out. Okay guys, this is going to be the main flight with the uh, ailerons on there. It's a little bit gusty today. So uh, I'm not sure how it's going to fly, but we'll find out. Um, I think the wind's gusting up to a little over 11 miles an hour, maybe 12 or so. Uh, I'm wait for the gust to calm, then I'll do a launch. Probably not a good example. I was going too slow. Hang on, let me do another one. Uh, still not too crazy. That's going into the wind, so it's kind of slowing it down. Definitely a lot more responsive. And again, like I said, I probably only recommend the, the ailerons for experienced pilots. It definitely is a lot more twitchy. Um, that or, you know, you probably want to put some Expo in it. I usually fly with no Expo, so it's super touchy for me. <laughs> yeah, that's real touchy in the roll, man. That thing is crazy now. when you're sideways to the wind, you can feel it. Uh, but it's not too bad. I think probably up high, you're probably getting 15 mile an hour wind back to me. Okay guys, I think we're pretty much dialed, so um, I'm going to get into the plans. There's some adjustments I have to make. And then I'm going to probably do one more test fit to make sure everything fits properly. Then uh, probably in a week or so, I'll probably have the plans available. Okay, let's bring it in for the landing. Ooh, slow down. Whoa! <laughs> I knocked frame. Yeah, man. 
<laughs> the wind. <laughs> That's landing with the tailwind. Oh man, my eyes are watering from the wind. Oh, okay, guys, here. so we're good to go on the F-35. Looks like it's pretty good. Just like I said, there's some finer, uh, final minor adjustments on it, and I'll make some plans, and we'll get them available to you guys. I'm my neck bring down. <laughs> Okay guys, looks like that's the end of uh, part 4 of the FF35 project. Looks like it's pretty close to being finished. Now I just got to go back to the plans, uh, do my final notes and uh, adjustments on the parts and pieces. And after that I'm going to probably do one final test fit to make sure everything fits accurately. Then after that I'll make an announcement and let you guys know when the plans are available. So thanks for joining me for this video. Uh, please stay tuned. More exciting stuff coming up from RC Foam Fighters. Oh, hey guys, it's Paul again. Um, just one more note before you guys go. I mentioned it in the last video I did. Uh, basically, me and Frank started a new RC channel called Die Hard RC Addicts. Uh, basically, this is going to be another channel that we do a bunch of RC stuff on. We're going to keep RC foam fighters pretty much for scratch build airplanes that we make. Uh, but this other channel, if you're interested, it's going to be covering uh, pretty much anything else that's RC. We're going to do boats, cars, tanks, um, anything we can build that's RC or even buy and probably some uh, reviews further down the line. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a link down here below where you guys can check out the new channel. Uh, hope you guys see you there.